Hi everyone, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show Facts and Trivia. I appreciate you being here. Um, before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed, please do. We're still climbing, which is a good thing. Uh, need to climb, climb, climb. Um, trying to get 100 subscribers by Monday morning. So let's see if we can do that. Um, you can help by sharing these videos. I appreciate that too. Thank you. Um, today's video is on uh, the episode of The Club Men. Uh, tell you what, let me know. I, most of you don't, but some of you might. Let me know if in for the future videos if you need to know uh, what the episode was about um, in order to jog your memory or something uh, before I give the uh, trivia on it. Uh, and I can do that if you want. Um... On this one, uh, the map behind Andy's desk in the courthouse is no longer a map of North Carolina. It is now a framed, unrecognizable map. Perhaps the map of the fictional Mayberry County, North Carolina. Uh, the car in the opening scene is a 1961 Ford Thunderbird convertible. This is the same car driven by Bill Bixby in Bailey's Bad Boy and Gene Hagen in Andy and the Woman Speeder. Um, it was kind of like all I could find for that one, so I want to add a few things. I thought it would be kind of cool to look into Hal Smith, uh, Otis Campbell, um, some of the cartoon characters that he voiced. That's really small, fine print, so I've got to... Um, he had done work on, like, the Huckleberry Hound show and Quick Draw McGraw. Um, and he had worked with Hanna-Barbera, Walt Disney, Warner Brothers, The Minch Corporation, and Sid and Marty Croft um, with voiceovers on such series as The Flintstones. Uh, the Pink Panther, the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Mickey Mouse, Yogi Bear, Looney Tunes. Um, some of the specifics that he did that was popular. In 1981, let's see, no, let's go back further than that. Um, he voiced the uh, Disney character, cartoon character Goofy, after... Uh, Pinto Kolvig died in 1967. Additionally, he provided the voice of Owl in three of the Winnie the Pooh featurettes in 1960. He was one of the most sought-after voice actors in Hollywood from 1959 to 75. Uh, he provided the voice for Goliath, um, Davy's dad, and many other characters in Davy and Goliath. Some of you may not remember some of these, but uh, here's one that's really cool. He was the voice of Elmer Fudd after Arthur Q. Uh, Bryan died in 63. Um, in 1981, he reprised his role as Owl and voiced Winnie the Pooh in the short Winnie the Pooh Discovers the Seasons. Very, very talented um, voiceover artist um, and a very good actor. Uh, probably one of the best drunk actors I've ever seen. Um, I'll tell you what, in another episode, we're going to do one on uh, Alvin Melvin. I played uh, like seven different roles on the Andy Griffith Show. He was most famous for Sam the Butcher on uh, uh, Brady Bunch. Uh, he did a lot of voiceover work. And maybe we'll do one on him, too. Uh, and I might have a special for you. It'll be either tomorrow or the next day. Uh, uh, the trivia question that I put out on Facebook about um, did Barney and Thelma Lou ever get married? And a lot of you never apparently heard of the movie Return to Mayberry. So I think I'm going to take a break from the episodes for one day and uh, introduce you to that movie. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a uh, trailer for it, and we'll put that on here, too. 
um, you got to see the movie. It's not the greatest movie in the world, but it's really neat to see them all come back together. Uh, just really, really neat. Really neat. I enjoyed it. Um, that's all I got for you today. We went a little bit long, but that's okay. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. It's, it takes you a second. That's it. Um, and share these videos uh, on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever you're at. Share them with your friends. I appreciate that, too. We'll catch you tomorrow. Have a great day. God bless.